and I know it's going to take some practice, but guys, we got to get to the point where, especially for these simple ones, excuse me, especially for these simple ones, we can see that um, we can see the use substitution. So again, we see that here's a function. We have two functions, right? Two functions. That's the most complicated one. We would use u substitution for that. We would say that would be our u. Is whatever our other function the derivative of that function? Is cosine the derivative of sine of x? Yeah. So I know that immediately if, to integrate this, um, if I was going to integrate on this case, then that would be the, um, then my integral would be uh, e to the sine of x, and then I just need to integrate from pi halves to 0. Now again, if you don't see it, let's go and look at u substitution. u would equal sine of x, du over dx, respect, derivative with respect to x, would be cosine of x. That means du would equal cosine of x dx. So therefore, if you integrated e to the u du, just think about that in terms of e, forget about this symbols here, you would see that e to the u, you can integrate to just equal to e to the u, and then du covers cosine of x dx. So everything is there, all right? However, you could, uh, sorry, if you integrated this, e to the u du, the, in, the integral of e to the u is just going to be e to the u plus c, right? And then you guys could just plug in the u, which is cosine, I'm sorry, which is sine of x. However, we're looking into evaluating this. That means we need to plug in some values. e to the sine of pi halves minus e to the sine of 0. Right? So let's go and look. Pi halves, we know that sine is going to be equal to 1. e to the 1 minus the sine of 0 is? There you go. Okay. 